Hey guys, uh, I just want to do a live um, uh, clear up of misconceptions today. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people talking about a fat sleever. I'm seeing a lot of people talk about uh, Ketofi. So I went and got a book on uh, Ketofi everything. Um, <clears throat> and, and I see a lot of people talking about um, um, just like intermittent fasting. So what I'm trying to do is I want to clear up a lot of misconceptions. And I want to know what your questions are on like when to ketify, when to intermittent fast, and how much fat should you actually be getting in. I've had, I've had this discussion a few times with people on, on the different fats that they should be doing, um, what level of fats and everything. So we can start anywhere you guys want. Um, I don't see any questions though, so I don't know if I'm even doing this thing right. Um, let me look and see. Super chat. I don't know. I guess. Um, if you guys can see me, just say hello or something, just so I know you guys are there. Um, I see there's four people, but I don't, I don't see any, I don't see any questions. Um, anyway, Ketofi. Ketofi is, is basically making foods that are ketogenic and to like pizza, like cauliflower pizza. Um, you, you feel like, well, if, if I can make a pizza, then I won't miss pizza. But it's kind of the reverse effect in the beginning. Now, I'm totally for you coming up with new ideas and new, new recipes and everything else to actually get your, to keep you there. But the motivation of you starting the diet should actually be very strict in the beginning. You shouldn't try to ketofy or uh, rein, reinvent some, some of your old meals. Um, because those meals are what, what got you to where you are today. They, they, the, the pizzas, like, like for me, the pizzas really got me. So I, I'm not going to try to make or recreate a pizza right away because all I'm going to do is miss it and want to go back to eating pizza, like real pizza. Um, and like chocolates or like, you know, all different things. Now, I'm not saying stay away from it forever because this book has does have a lot of good interesting things. So, um, but what I'm saying is get yourself keto adapted, get yourself fat adapted first. And, and that should actually help you in your ketogenic diet. Now, uh, something I want to talk about real quick before we get into more of the subjects, I'm going to do a, a, um, a free giveaway to my subscribers and to my viewers. Uh, I'm going to do two different gifts. The first one is going to be this. This is a, uh, a book. It's, uh, it's, it's the Body Weight Strength Anatomy book. And what it does is it will teach you, it has about 200 pages. It'll teach you how to exercise without a gym and to do it at home. So this is going to be one of the gifts. Um, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do this yet. I, on my Tuesday live, I'm going to I'm going to do a live on Tuesday at five o'clock. And what I'm going to do with that is uh, I'm going to announce how to win the the book or or a free T-shirt like like the one I have on today. Um, not just this one, just pick one because what I'll do is I'll order. I'll order the one for your size, um, your color. Um, just I, I, I wear a different uh, keto shirt every time. So this is it again. This is what this one looks like. It says the keto food pyramid. Um, so that's one of the gifts. Just pick a, any one of the shirts, random shirts. I have 70 videos now, with, and I probably wear a different shirt in 50 of them. So and and. I literally have um, shirts. Oops, there's a hat. I have shirts coming in every day. I just, I, 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 I'm, I don't know. I'm just crazy with shirts. Um, that's one of the things. All right, now back to ketofine, back to intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is, it's part of keto. It is. I'm not a big fan of it, but. Here's what I'm going to tell you how it works. In the beginning, 
trainers like myself, we used to tell people, eat breakfast snack, lunch snack, dinner snack. It's basically like six meals a day. And that, I, I could have I could have swore was probably the best way to eat, you know, moderation of foods, cutting calories and all this other stuff. Now, what I've come to learn, and, and I really want to f- enforce this on you guys and really try to get everybody on the same page, is calories honestly don't matter because calories are going to, um, uh, they're just going to, um, you know, they're just going to make you frustrated. You're just going to get so caught up in, in how many calories you're supposed to eat. Now, here's the thing. If you eat something and your spouse eats something, do you guys gain the same weight or lose the same weight? No. But they want you to believe that categor- ca- categorizing food in calorie form is actually the same. And it actually is supposed to be exactly the same. Like this burger is going to be 450 calories and 450 calories is going to make you gain this much weight or lose this much weight. And it doesn't work the same for everybody. Um, I don't believe that there's a true way of actually doing that and, and, and getting an idea of how many calories you're supposed to eat every day. Now I've followed methods taught by um, Jason Whitrock and, and some other really, really good people. Um, and the whole calorie thing just makes sense. It just makes sense to just throw the calorie thing out the window. Go by the amount of, of grams of foods, all right? Now, I always recommend the 200 gr- grams of fats, the under 100 grams of proteins, and under 20 grams of carbs. Don't worry about the calories. Just, just hit those goals. And fat is important, people. Fat is the most important macro. I did a video on that before. Um, But let's stay on track with this uh, intermittent fasting. Um, Exactly, Riza. Exactly. Um, What I want to talk about is is intermittent fasting. So you, you go from those six meals a day that everybody was always into thinking and the first part of intermittent fasting and and I don't recommend intermittent fasting right in the beginning. I recommend this one kind of in the beginning, and what it means is you're just going to cut out those snacks. Just stop eating the snacks in between the meals. Still get your three meals. Try to get those grams of fats. Try to get those grams of carbs. Try to get those grams of, of uh, proteins, okay? Um, you have to try to get them in in those, in those couple of meals, all right? Um, I'm not really seeing too many comments. Maybe I'm just not interesting enough. I don't get it. I, I see I see Ramona's thank you I could see that one I guess they just pop up for a, a couple of seconds and then they just kind of fade away I'm still new to this whole live thing um, back to the thing all right so you're gonna remove those snacks now you're gonna give yourself time in between meals to feel it okay you're gonna feel what it feels like um, to to go without food for longer periods of time now As your body gets into a ketogenic state, as you start to develop, um, you you know you're in ketosis, not by looking at a pee strip that's only saying, well, I'm peeing ketones out, because that, what that means is your body is actually making some ketones, but you're not using them because you're peeing them out, okay? Um, The reason a urine strip is is not, as accurate as as a blood test monitor is is because when you're peeing out you're you're not using them and then when you start to use them you're not going to pee as much out so it's going to look like you're not in ketosis anymore and you're going to get yourself all frustrated but when you get like say a blood strip monitor okay a blood ketone monitor like and the one i usually recommend is uh keto mojo because it's probably the the least expensive strips and it's the easiest way to test them you're going to look at that and you're going to look where um, the blood monitor is going to give you a 0.5, which is ketosis, and up to about 1.5 or, or 1.9. That's where you start to be in ketosis, okay? Once you're over that 1.9, say you're 2.0 to, to almost 3, that's when you're actually utilizing the most fat. You're burning off a lot of fat. Oh. That's the benefit of being in ketosis. That that's where you'll really see the benefits. You're gonna feel the the energy. Like I have this stored up energy. 
you're going to see where uh, the weight loss happens, like in your face. Um, take at least a good month for the body to adjust. Exactly, Reza. Um, that's a very good point. It's not just to adjust. It is, but you're, you're teaching the body so much different stuff. You're taking away everything your body knew about how to eat, your carbs and your sugars, the way your body made that glycogen, and you're taking it away. So in order to put something back, you have to have fats. C. Brown, how can you, you know, if meds that you have to take with food? You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat on intermittent fasting. You're gonna still eat those three times a day and you're gonna take those meds. Um, now, I'm not saying that you wait all that time. If there's a time where you're supposed to take meds, take your meds, okay? I, I'm not a doctor, I'm not anything like that, but you could always work those meds in. Um, or the a lot of the times the meds, um, they cause a, a Dr. Sean Baker, uh, I don't know if I'm familiar with him. Reason, I don't, I don't know if I know Sean Baker, uh, Dr. Sean Baker, um, but I, I will look him up. Um, a lot of times those, those pills are just, they make you nauseous if you have an empty stomach, and that's kind of what I was looking at. Ramona, it, uh, it's been four weeks and nothing yet. No ketosis, no weight loss. I cut cheese out, hopefully it will help. It will help. I don't, in the beginning, I say, no nuts, no cheese, no dairy, very strict, just plain um, red meats. You, you, you wanna go with more of a hamburger because a hamburger is more, is a higher fat than it is protein, where like a steak is, is kind of almost like 50-50 with the protein and the fat. Believe it or not, so when you get a, a, a burger, it has more fat on it than, when, than if you would have gotten a steak. So I say go with the, the the ground beef and try to go with it grass fed, try to go with organic vegetables. I probably get in now um, five or six servings of greens a day just by putting that blender. I did that um, uh, smoothie thing. I, I've been really kicking that smoothie thing every day. Um, uh, Ramona asked, what about salads and, and bulletproof coffee? I do them every day. I do, I do, I get, I do a um, two, two and two uh, bulletproof coffee with an egg in the morning. I, and, and what that is, is that's gonna be like um, two tablespoons of grass-fed butter, two tablespoons of MCT oil, two cups of coffee and an egg. And then I blend it up. Um, I think I did a video on that too. <clears throat> and, and that is literally one of my meals. So I know I have so much fat already and even sometimes if I'm even a little bit hungrier during that time I'll throw some bacon in it but what I'm doing is on my three meals and sometimes I'll go to two meals it's for me intermittent fasting intermittent is just irregular fasting it, 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 spaces in between meals that's all intermittent is the, the goal I guess is to get to one meal a day and to me that's gonna be awfully awfully hard to get all your fats, all your carbs, and all your proteins in, okay? Because your body still needs these things. And when you do go from, back to this intermittent fasting part, when you do go from those six meals down to those three, you're not losing the amount of food you're eating. You're still trying to eat the same amount of food just in three meals. And it's gonna be the same thing when you slowly get rid of breakfast, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna drift, you're gonna get up, and you're just gonna see if you're hungry. If you're not hungry, then don't eat, okay? That's part of the intermittent fasting. It's part of the ketogenic diet working. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to drift so far forward. Um, Reza, I get my butcher to cut me a 50-50 ground beef. And, oh my God, 50-50, that's amazing. Um, I wish I had a butcher that could do that. I ended up with 80-20 ground beef. Um, but it's grass-fed, so um, and I'm sure your butcher probably uh, tells you that his is grass-fed as well, and that's probably true. Um, and that's awesome. I wish I, 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 maybe I have to just search around for a good butcher. Um, but you're gonna slow down on the breakfast, okay? You're gonna try to see how long you can wait from when you wake up to until you start to feel hungry. Then you're gonna have your first meal. 
then probably a few hours later you'll have your second meal and that'll be it. So you'll be down to two meals on that intermittent fasting. But don't rush this process, okay? Do the three meals for months if you have to, okay? Do the, the gaps in between the meals. Um, don't just start reducing the amount of food you take in. That's, that's kind of that old mindset, that old way of thinking. You're thinking, well, if I eat less, I'm gonna lose weight. And it's just, it really doesn't work that way. You have to keep the fats high. You have to keep the, the, the proteins moderate. Now, what would be a moderate protein? Um, grass finish too as well, good reason. It's exactly true. When um, you get, Reza brought up a point where um, if you get grass fed meat, you want it to be grass finished as well because a lot of times what they'll do is once the farmer who did all that grass feeding all that time sends his stock off to a butcher, does the butcher actually um, continue that grass feeding and keep that uh, nutrition good w within your cat in their cattle and then process that meat or does he implement all the cows into some crazy nasty feed and then just ruin everything that that farmer did to, to develop that cow and get that fat perfect and to get all the nitrates and everything else out so grass finished is is ideal but if you can't find that definitely go with grass fed first okay because not all the labels say grass fed grass grass prepared yet but i'm sure they will um now, once you've gotten down to those, back to the intermittent fasting, once you've gotten down to those couple of meals, you're going to start seeing a lot of time where it's going to be 16, six people are, we'll even talk about this, 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of eating in your 24 day period or 24 hour period. So a lot of that time is sleeping because you have to try to get your seven, eight, nine hours in and the sleep is actually almost more important than working out on a ketogenic diet. I don't re recommend working out in the very beginning of a ketogenic diet because your body doesn't know how to utilize ketones yet. It's not gonna benefit you to get into a great workout plan at the same time you're trying to adjust the body into transferring over to ketones. It just doesn't work that way. Your body will freak out it will stay on, glu on glucose, it will break down muscle to actually help you work out, okay? Because um, it can break muscle down and turn it into sugar and then you're still, you're still not in ketosis. If you are um, not in ketosis after a month, all right, it's pretty rare if you're not. You have to double check things. You have to really check things out. You have to look at something. Am I, am I definitely eating total carbs under 20. I go with total carbs. Some people like to go with net carbs. Uh, I say forget that whole fiber stuff. I'm, I like having fiber, but I'm not counting fiber against my total carbs. I'm just not. Um, uh, Reza, that's a very good point. The zero carb, zero, zero fiber. Um, it is a good point. There's, there's people that are on the carnivore diet that's similar to, to the keto diet. There's just less greens. They, just, they don't eat any greens, I don't think. There's very little. There, but there are some days that I don't eat greens at all. Now, um, but then the next day I'll, I'll eat five or six cups of greens and I eat the nasty ones. I eat like the, uh, the beet greens, the mustard greens, uh, arugula, kale, and I put all those nasty ones, parsley, I put them all into a, a, that smoothie. I'll pour beef broth in there, cod liver oil, um, apple cider vinegar, and I blend that up and I drink it. And, oh, and I put a, 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 a pepper. My wife bought these peppers. Um, it, it was so hot and spicy. And she put that in there. Dandelion, I do have that. Um, I take a supplement of dandelion, Reza. Um, and I, I, drink, I drink that thing down. And it's gross, it's disgusting, but I, I know I've gotten all my greens in and I like the way it, it keeps me in ketosis. I usually check my ketosis and I'm not usually below 1.9. Um, I'm usually, I've, I've been as high as 5.9 before and 
it made me a little nervous because you don't want to be too far over three and it's really hard to get over over three i don't know why i was 5.9 that day but i was high and it kind of made me nervous i was thinking should i eat some carbs just to bring it back down but i i knew i was just doing things right i knew but i hadn't eaten it was probably two o'clock already that day and i'm not used to fasting from when i wake up at about um five in the morning till two o'clock in the afternoon without eating but being that i deprived my body and i naturally did it because i just didn't think about eating that was the point that's the point on intermittent fasting i didn't force it i just didn't feel like eating and i decided to check my ketones and i was at like 5.9 hmm. i was scared a little bit i guess uh have you Risa, have you found water taste so sweet after adapting? I use distilled water. I use uh, this water here. It's high in pH. Um, it's supposed to actually help with, with cleansing your body, with helping um, um, detoxify your body. So this is what the water I drink. And I don't drink a lot of water anymore. I used to drink so many things of water that um, it would it would be like I was drinking mm, probably five of these a day. You know, it was kind of stupid. But uh, I stopped. Uh, now I drink probably two of them a day. So I'm getting in about 60 some things of water. I'm also getting my smoothie in, which is a lot of water and bone broth. I'm also getting my Bulletproof coffee in, which is two cups of, of water. Um, and, I, and then I'll sip water throughout the day that I don't even calculate. But um, I know I'm getting enough because I'm keeping track of my urine. It's, it's like a never ending thing with this, this diet. You're gonna see. Um, if, your diet, if your urine is a very light yellow, you're good. If it's a very dark yellow, you, you need to get some water in because you're probably gonna start getting a headache. You're gonna start feeling nauseated and everything else. Now, um, I'm really, really going way off subject here. I, I wanna throw a good tip out to you though. Um, Cause I, I start thinking of the nausea and some of the things that, that people on keto are, are having trouble with. If you feel fatigued and you feel like all worn out and you're doing keto, it, it, mean, it doesn't mean that you're doing the keto part wrong. It means you're not taking in enough sodium. You need to get, I, I, I have this dish on my counter right next to my, my uh, stove and I'll pinch a lot of salt out and I'll sprinkle it all over my, my, uh, my eggs. Now, in the beginning, it was salty. It was, I was a little kind of held back from it, but now I'm kind of used to the saltier part and what they're finding out is that salt isn't contributing to the high blood pressure. My high blood pressure, my blood pressure is not high anymore. Um, I'm getting about 5,000 milligrams of salt in a day where I used to only get between 2,500 and 3,000. I know that they've changed it and most doctors aren't even up on this yet. Um, but on, on the ketogenic diet, I've, I've seen people, sorry about that. Um, it was a phone call. Um, I was getting 5,000 to 7,000 milligrams of, of salt. So, um, I'm way off subject right now. My wife just tried to call and I just kind of ignored her. So I'm, I'm probably going to be in hot water with that. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, hard to find other organs, Risa, uh, in Ontario, Canada, except liver, kidney, and tongue. Yeah. I, I've heard that eating the organ meats is really, really, really healthy, even more healthier than eating the, the, the higher fat and stuff like that. But it kind of icks me out. I'll be honest. I'm not a big, I wasn't a big red meat eater before this diet. I was, I was like this, this personal trainer guy that always, that ate like four breasts of chicken every day. I ate vegetables. I ate fruits and, and I thought I was eating healthy and and I was teaching this to people and I thought this was all the way to go. But I didn't realize that there wasn't any real science that supported this, okay? Um, 
the uh, reason it takes time to get used to new lifestyle for sure. Yeah, it, it, it's it's not necessarily the, the lifestyle. It's the fact of eating a tongue. It, I, and I and I and liver. Mm, to me, it was a punishment when when I was a kid that I had to eat liver, and I, I don't know that I'm over that part of it yet. So <laughs> maybe I need some uh, professional help on that. I don't know, but um, liver. Chicken livers, um, I, I hear good things about them. Um, kidneys, stuff like that, uh, and, and watching Hannibal, and I can't, I can't do all that stuff. I, I, I know the liver is probably the best organ, and most prey animals go after the liver first, and it gets all gross. But uh, I'm just, I'm gonna slowly get myself to to doing that. Maybe like. I'm one of these guys. Um, yeah, see, bro, tasting things that can taste you back. Yeah, yeah, I know, like the tongue. Um, the, I'm probably one of the fewest people you're ever gonna meet that's never eaten lobster or crab um, or any real fish. Um, I don't know why. I. I I, I bought fish, and I was told tilapia would be a great fish. Now, on keto, stay away from the white fish. The white fish is just like eating chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's too high in protein. It's not enough fat. You could always put a lot of butter in it, but it's kind of just defeating the whole purpose. You want to get more animal fat than, than, than butter, okay? But I was going to try the tilapia, and it sat in my freezer for like a year, and then I looked, and, and fish isn't supposed to sit in there for that long. So I ended up just throwing it away. And then I went and bought all these expensive crab legs, these giant crab legs. And I was going to actually try them because everybody talks about how great they are. And all oh, this, this, I don't have a Costco. I don't like salmon. I, I did. That's the only fish I think I've ever tried. And I don't like it. And, and it was cooked by somebody that knew what they were doing. I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like the salmon. I like tuna fish. I eat that. That's the fish I could eat, that albacore tuna fish. But again, that's white meat, white chicken, or uh, white fish, and I probably want to stay away from that. Um, anyway, those crab legs, I went to get them the one night because I said, all right, tonight's the night I'm going to eat those crab legs. So I get them, I go in the freezer, it's gone. I, and I went to my wife, I said, what happened to those crab legs? She said, I ate them. And I was like, wait a minute, you ate all those crab legs and she's like like she's nothing like me i'm a big um like shrek looking guy i'm i'm six foot three 250 some pounds um and she's like five foot five 105 pounds okay and and how she ate all those crab legs is i don't know what she did it i don't know how she did it I don't know if she had a party one night when I was at work and she had everybody in the neighborhood over, but that was a lot of crab legs and she ate, she said she ate them all. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I know people eat a lot of crab and lobster when they do. My, my one buddy told me that I need to go eat lobster with him and cause he ate 17 lobsters in one sitting. I was like, I don't know if I want to do that. I, I don't want to do that. I, I might eat one. But I don't know. One day I'll try it, and I'll tell you guys how it is. Um, are there any questions about keto -fi? This book is actually, it is interesting. Yes, too much mercury for sure uh, on fish. Uh, keto -fi, it does have a lot of replacement recipes. I want to stress the part of keto -fi. Once you are fat adapted, and it will take months, it will take... Honestly, to get into ketosis is probably going to take you, f real ketosis is going to take you four weeks. All right? Anybody who thinks that they're in ketosis in a couple of days, uh, you're not in ketosis. It takes a long time. Um, you have to be very, very, very consistent because any little slip up in the very beginning will make you start over. It really will. Because then your body's back into eating sugar. It tries, and, and then you have to try to force it back out away from the sugar. It's granted you can get rid of sugar in three, three or four days. You can get rid of all the sugar, but.
but you're really not into ketosis yet because your body is still going to make its own sugar to survive because it's never it's not going to want to let go it's not going to want to let go of eating sugar um but when you do this ketophy it's going to mean once you've gotten into ketosis then you've gotten into the next stage which is which is keto adapted okay that's the middle stage you're you're in, you're going to be keto adapted for quite a while before you get fat adapted there's a little bit of a difference between the two um for me i i could literally eat um i went to what is that place um johnny rockets okay and it was the only place when we were out it was the only place to go and johnny rockets is a is an old diner where the the patrons or the um the the workers sing old rock old you know rock songs and they it's a fun diner place but i ordered a, like a double bacon cheeseburger and i wasn't going to eat the bun but i ate the bun i ate the bun and i am i have been in ketosis and keep fat adapted for a very very long time months and months years if not years um and i've been doing it for three years now i thought well i'm gonna try this burger and i immediately went home after this and i checked my blood sugar kind of like that obsession kind of compulsiveness and i checked it and i was still in the twos and i waited another hour and i checked it again and i was still in the twos so the benefit of being fat adapted or keto adapted is that you can have these minor slip ups all right at least i can all right you're gonna have to check check it for yourself um and it's not going to affect you but i'm telling you in the very beginning when you're first trying to get a ketosis if you slip up it's drastic it takes no prisoners it's going to screw you over and it's going to go right back out you're not going to be in ketosis you're not going to utilize fat for energy and it's going to frustrate the crap out of you because you did all that time when you were doing great okay you were doing just wonderful and then you screwed up that one time and it just sets you right back and it's just it's just so frustrating i i i see it with people all the time they're always calling they're always messaging me oh i was in ketosis for a month i said how'd you know well i i was peeing on the strips well peeing on the strips producing ketones is almost ketosis but it's not quite there like when i pee on a ketone strip i sometimes i don't show any ketones um, depending on how much energy I used that day. If I used up all my ketones um, that I that I produced from my my fats and stuff, then I'm really showing minor traces of ketones. And then I'll check my blood, and my, and I'll and I'll be like 2.8. And 2.8, if you don't know, on that monitor is very high in in ketosis. Okay, that's very high. So I know I'm still in ketosis as far as the ketones in my blood and that's why I want those ketones to be as in my blood and not in my urine because if they're in my blood they're getting utilized for muscle they're getting utilized for all the functions that I, I want to have there I know that that those ketones are in my organs they're in they're in my bloodstream they're just pumping around they're they're not getting flushed out of my body and being flushed out as waste okay that's what the urine strips detect is ketones in your urine which are going to waste and that's where I try to stress that just because you think you're in ketosis and you haven't eaten any carbs and you see ketones in on that or on a urine strip, it doesn't mean you're in ketosis yet. Um, when you start losing fat, and you will lose fat on on the ketogenic diet, you just have to be patient. But the fat will come from your extremities. Okay, it'll come from your hands down through your arms. Okay, I, I don't know if you've seen even videos of me when I first started showing you after I had already lost a lot of weight my neck is different my jawline is different my hands are, are different I have veins and stuff in my hands now um, I'm getting more defined my my waist is getting smaller my chest is is getting a little more defined so I'm seeing the the, the all the, the things I want to see now I only have the one foot, but my, and I don't know if my one foot is skinnier than, than it used to be. I, I really don't pay attention to that part, but I do look at my hands and my face. Um, so 
weight loss starts from those extremities, works its way down, and the belly fat and stuff and the butt or the thighs, depending on where your center of fat is, is usually the last to go. So it takes time, it takes patience, it takes, it takes repetition. You have to be continuously um, doing the ketogenic diet. It has to be so repetitive every day. Every day is the same. Every day, you're just pumping out those keto foods. You're, you're, you're doing what you have to do. You're getting in your high fats. You're not stressing over this, okay? Because they find that the, the reason people have strokes and heart attacks isn't from saturated fats or, or from cholesterol. It's from, cholesterol literally has about 4% effect on, on clots. Um, there's a thing called PAI-1, and it's what actually stops your body from dissolving those blood clots, causing strokes and heart attacks and stuff like that. And that is triggered by four different things. And if I could remember them correctly, it's, it's going to be things like um, estrogen, which I don't have, hopefully. It's going to be like um, uh, uh, cortisol which actually helps stress you out. And you get that when you stress over trying to, um, trying to track your macros or do whatever you're doing. Um, it's for uh, insulin and uh, there's a fourth one. I don't remember what it is, but there's a fourth one. Uh, what, Ramona, what should we, eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, daily to help me to get into ketosis. All right. I kind of don't usually recommend what you should eat only because I don't know what you're going to be allergic to, how your body's going to react to certain foods. Okay. What I am going to tell you is to try to get as much fat as you can in each of your meals. And those fats could be anything from, from animal fats, MCT oil, coconut oil, butter, um, uh, avocado oil, um, avoca avocados themselves, olives, um, things that have a higher fat is what you want to, no allergies, okay. Um, but when I explain how food is going to be for me, like I could eat probably two or three times as much as you could eat and I won't gain a pound now, okay, where... I know if I ate a third of what I was eating when I was doing carbs, of what I could eat now, and I thought, well, I have to try to lose weight, and I wasn't, and I would actually gain weight then. And it was because it's not the food that you eat. I mean, it's not the amount of food that you eat. Um, I don't measure. Should I start measuring? No, no, no. Don't don't always measure to the to the point of stressing yourself out. Um, measuring, well, let me, let me scratch that. You have, in the beginning, you're definitely going to have to know how, to, what you're measuring. Um, like I, I measure my butter and I measure my MCT oil. Other than that, I don't measure like, uh, this is four ounces of meat here. This is six ounces of meat there. Um, I do a couple of eggs. Some, some days I'll do two or three, two eggs. Some days I'll do three. Some days I'll just do one egg. Some days I'll do two slices of bacon. Some days I'll do up to four. Um, so, but the, the, the thing I do stay consistent is the two tablespoons of butter and the two tablespoons of MCT oil and the two cups of coffee. Um, and I mix those together. And I know that if I eat two eggs, four pieces of bacon, my bulletproof coffee that I just told you about, minus that egg in it, is 85 grams of fat. 85 grams. My whole goal for the day is 200 grams of fat. And everybody keeps telling me that they've had all this trouble trying to keep up with the 200 grams of fat. It's, it's definitely something you want to, to get to. The 200 grams of fat are going to get your body into a fat-burning mode, a fat-burning machine. It's going to force your body into utilizing fat. You have to keep that fat high. Don't lever it back when you think, oh, I'll just keep my proteins up because proteins are more important. They're not. 
proteins in every diet in the world usually stay pretty consistent. Most people don't have to mess with the proteins because we usually keep them in, our, in a pretty good, good spot. Now, some of your bodybuilders are, are, are really killing people on, on how much they eat. Um, to break up with stupid notification button. Oh, Deadly Beauty must have just got here. Sorry, Deadly. Um, yeah, oh, let me, so proteins, if you're a female, I'm gonna put it this way. If you're a female and you're not working out yet, keep them around 60 or 70 grams of protein. If you're a man, you can handle a little more protein. Um, it depends, like on my size, I still don't go over 100, but I, could, I get close to 100, okay? Um, if, if, um, let me think, if, uh, you are a female, you don't need as much protein as, as a lot of these things are saying, trying to get hundred grams. So get that fat. The fat is very important. There's, there's people out there that have eaten, they've taken their 2000 calorie kind of idea of a diet that they were doing on ketosis and on a ketogenic style and they're sh and they had good results and everything and they they risked it all by going okay i'm gonna eat four or five thousand calories of of this fat in a ketogenic way not just the fat but the protein and keeping it in that 75 25 kind of area okay in grams so they did that and they didn't gain weight it's, it's not because of calories that you gain weight. It's because of the hormonal reaction to, to spiking your insulin, to um, um, having that issue of, of storing fat, all right? Um, again, if you haven't, if you just got here and you, and you didn't see, I'm going to give away this book um, by next Tuesday. We're going to pick a winner probably during the live um, or the playback or both. We'll probably um, do that. And the other one was uh, the shirt, like this shirt here. This is my um, uh, keto shirt that I wear. This is one of them. Um, you could pick whatever one you want, all right? Um, I just like showing that I got a smaller waist now and I, and I still got a bigger chest. I, I like that. I like that. I'm proud of my. I'm proud of that, and, I, and, I, and I'm just showing that off. It's kind of vain, I guess. I'm sorry, but it's it's. Um, all right. Listen, if you want to see my videos live, I know you do, Ramona, and we're gonna work out a way to to try to get my subscribers a way to win one. And I'm gonna do it probably every month. I'm gonna try to give away a T-shirt every month, or maybe two a month. We'll see how, how it works out. Um, if you want to get more of my notifications when I'm going to do these live sessions, hit that little bell that's next to the subscribe button, and it will tell you you're going to get notifications that I'm, that I'm doing a live or that I've just released a new video. Um, Daily Beauty, I need that shirt. I've lost so much weight, my clothes are falling off. That's good. That's good. Um, I used to be in a 3 or a 4X, and now I'm in, this is just a 1X, all right? Um, I used to be in 48-inch um, waist pants. Now I wear 36s. Sometimes I can even fit into 34s. And my whole adult life, I had never gotten into 34s. And not even when I was a, in high school. In high school, I was probably a 34, but then I hit a 36, and I won most physically fit Marine. Um, in the Marine Corps, uh, I was still a 36. I was still just a big, I was a, a big guy, but I had a, a, a smaller waist. Um, I was always in the 200 and sums. And, and um, just curious if you have done uh, one meal a day while on keto. Um, there's, on the, uh, on the ketogenic diet, I have gotten to a point where sometimes I don't even eat that day and that's very it's rare but I forget about eating I get I get so involved in what I'm doing that I literally just went the whole 24 hours without eating and I don't like it when I do that um, I'm not trying to force weight loss on myself 
I'm, I'm not trying to deprive my body of, of the vitamins and minerals. And I think if I ever went to one meal a day, I would be stressed. Okay? Um, some people can do it. Uh, Reza can do it. Um, and and that's, that's good for her. But I can't, I don't feel like I can get all the amount of fats my body needs. And I know that people think, well, if I don't, if you don't give it a, all the fat it needs, it'll take your own body fat. But there's no guarantee of that, okay? Because the body will not just take all that extra fat that it needs to produce everything. Because it's so much easier for the body to break down muscle tissue, break down other other fat uh, uh, macros like your your carbs and your proteins, and turn them into sugar. And then I'm back into that that stage where my body is utilizing sugar for energy. And I don't want that. I want to keep my fats high. I want to keep the fat coming off my, my face, keep the fat coming off my hands, keep the fat coming off my body so that eventually I am, I don't know, six, 7% body fat. I want, I want to be that one day before I die. I don't know. Uh, my birthday's coming up in about a week or so. Thanks Keto Nation, brother. Appreciate you. Um, uh, my birthday's coming up in a week, I think. Something like that. Uh, so don't forget to say happy birthday to me. It's on the 11th. Um, don't, yeah, okay. Um, please, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Um, yes, fellow Aquarius. Absolutely, Reza. Um, hit the, uh, the notification bell. Uh, hit the subscribe button. All these comments you guys are making here, they're great comments. So I hope on the replay, you actually add some of those comments back in so other people can get an idea, especially Reza was very helpful with all the, the comments that she made. She, she seems very, very knowledgeable on, on the ketogenic diet. And I like having people like that. Uh, same day, 20, 20th birthday. Yeah. We're, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, Burt Reynolds is, is, the, is uh, February 11th, and uh, Jeb Bush is February 11th, and Reza, you barely made Aquarius. I, you, you're like right on that cusp. You're almost a Pisces. Anyway, um, I'm glad I'm getting to know all you guys. I'm, I try to be very available for questions. I try to help people on a daily basis. I try to help with any questions I can, I, I, I can get from you guys. If you're not losing weight, there's a couple of things. It's either you're not getting enough fat in and you're trying to do this fat lever thing or, oh, Keto Nation, 24th January, hoorah, uh, or you're not getting enough salt in. Salt matters, fats matter, sleep matters. Um, system death. If you guys haven't watched, uh, subscribed to Keto Nation, check him out. Um, I'm sorry, Deadly Beauty. You'll get through all that. Um, I'm getting way off track. I'm almost 48 minutes into this. All right, I got to I gotta end this one. Um, I've rambled on about this and that and a whole bunch of nothing. I'm sorry if it jumbled around. Um, yeah, definitely check out Keto Nation. He has got, he has done nearly 130 pound weight loss. Um, he's really, he, he's really knowledgeable. Now, he, he has that same persona that I have sometimes where I come across as just like, this is the way it is. He's like, uh, he's like, he doesn't sugarcoat things. I don't like sugarcoating things. I just tell people, if you're not losing weight, you're doing something wrong. Okay? That's it. It's not, it's not the diet. You're either not getting that fat, you're not getting that salt, you're not getting that sleep, you're stressing over uh, too much over how to meet your macros, you're, you're, you're too confused on, on whether, the, um, whether your, 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 your calories matter or anything like that. Um, but take this video for what it's worth. Stop worrying about calories. Stress brings cortisol. Cortisol brings fat. Okay, um, just just enjoy the ketogenic diet. It's high fat, 
it's I will check this channel. Thanks for recommending Stanny's channel. Oh, Stanny's awesome. Stanny is awesome as well. Um, yep, that's me, people. <laughs> Guys, check out everybody's messages. I, I don't have time to read them all. Um, unfortunately, when I end this live, those messages will go away. And and I'm sorry, I, I, I don't make the rules on, on, on that. But... Uh, Get ready for Tuesday. Tuesday's going to be another live. I'm going to try and stay on subject. You guys pull me off subject so easy. I'm so easily distracted. Um, I'm going to try to help everybody I can. Just keep following me. Um, keep recommending me to your friends. Um, if you can, um, you know, share my site. Share my information. Give it to your coworkers. Tell them, check him out. I got some good things to say sometimes. I try to help as many as I can. I think I've helped a lot, I think. Um, I think Reza might have a page. Reza, do you have a page that you can uh, shout out real quick? Or have I already... I'm drawing a blank here. Sometimes I don't know. Uh, nope, not yet. Well, Reza, maybe you should. We need, we need all the people we can to help all these people and teach them um, that how to properly eat, how to lose weight. Um, did you ever get your Primal Edge cookbook? Uh, no, but that's all right. I'll figure it out. Um, you saw that, though. I, I tried telling them. I, I was like, I ordered, I ordered the hard copy. It was 40, 40 some bucks. But I... I love Tristan. Primal Edge is a great is a great source of, of information. He's almost more of the carnivore kind of keto diet. He eats a lot of meats, a lot of proteins. Um, but he has such great success. And his food is probably, it's, it's not filled with all those nitrates and all this other crap that most of our meats are filled with. He, he, and he's, he's willing to eat almost anything. And then he just, he's so proud of himself, he doesn't wear a shirt 99% of the time. And I'm not, I'm not at that point yet. So um, I will let you know. Uh, C. Brown, I will let you know. Um, uh, I'll have to double check. I'm pretty sure I ordered the hard copy. Maybe I have a, 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 an ebook somewhere. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't even know where to look. I'm not that computer smart. I barely know how to do this. I, I bought a camera uh, to, to film my stuff, and I, and I still haven't figured out how to use it. I can't. I, I don't know. I got to take some courses or something. Anyway, way, way, way off subject. Um, anyway, uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for hanging with me all this time. I got the double digits, at least. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, one day I'll get, I'll get into even greater numbers someday. Maybe more people will find out about me. Maybe they'll like what I'm saying. Maybe they'll, 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 uh, have great success for what I tell you. And, and, uh, I want to thank all you guys. Thank you guys for, for being there. Thank you guys for showing up all the time. Um, if you can go back and watch this so I can get some views so I can get some time because, YouTube doesn't doesn't like it if you don't have over 4,000 hours of people viewing you, I guess. It's a new new way of monetizing. I never got monetized in the first place, so I've never been paid for any of this. But, you know, it might be good to, to um, um, get monetized. Maybe they'll pay me a couple bucks a month to do this. Because if you guys don't realize, it takes a lot of uh, hours um, making these videos, editing the videos, making sure I have the proper information. I read a ton of books. I've got books galore. Um, I've got this book here. This is another book that I just recently bought. Um, you are your own gym. Yep. And the weird thing is, is, is the way I saw this was I saw uh, an inmate. I work in a prison. I saw an inmate reading this book. I started looking at it. I went home, I ordered it. That's what I did. So it's a, it's a, I like the idea of exercising without weights and, and utilizing your own body because it's easy to teach people to do it. Um, do it. 
That's right. That's right, Keto Buddy. Keto Nation. All right, guys. I have really rambled on. I apologize for all this craziness. I see people are dropping off. But um, thank you. Um, thanks for showing up. Thanks for everything. And rewatch this video. Um, you're going to need prison stories. Oh, I don't think I'm allowed to tell them. So, um, but hang with me. Um, and I will, I will see all you guys soon. Tuesday, five o'clock live. That's what I'm doing. Five o'clock Tuesday live. And I'm going to start to do other lives, um, randomly because I like doing them, but I think for a scheduled one every week, it's going to be five o'clock Tuesdays, East coast, United States time. Um, See you guys. Thanks. Bye.